Hi guys and welcome to Rick's Garage. So today it's going to be very, very brief, but today is the very first drive of the GTV. So yes, welcome back. Now, first and foremost, I just want to apologize for the audio in this video or lack of, but you know, this is a very last minute thing. Now, this is the genuine, very, very first drive of my GTV for the first time in two and a half years since I've been restoring it. So yeah, I will explain more in the moment. First, I'm gonna get this thing going. Here we go guys, <laughs> genuine first drive of the Alpha, I apologise for the audio, I apologise for the camera work, but yeah this is last minute. Now let me explain to you why this is genuine first drive, because I'm actually on my way to drop it off at the garage to, uh, to just have a, you know, a good thorough going over. Uh, make sure everything's in order and also have it MOT'd so yeah obviously it's legal to drive on the way to the MOT sensor which is what I'm doing now uh, let me shut this um, now obviously I could have waited to do uh, another full video uh, on the car and that will follow um, but you know I just wanted a genuine <laughs> first reaction of my first drive feels good it wants the wheel alignment doing, which is uh, also what's getting done in the garage. Oh, <laughs> can't believe it. It feels strange. It feels very, very strange. I'm sorry if I'm a bit overexcited. <laughs> can't believe it. Oh, two and a half years I've waited for this. Two and a half years. I'm just about to turn left uh, onto a main road. Now, obviously, I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to be pushing anything today. Just open this for a minute. She sounds beautiful. Woo! <laughs> so excited can't tell you. Let me put this uh, this window up a little bit. Oh, Yeah, completely first drive. Now another thing I need to fix on this is the air conditioning. Um, this car is notoriously hot inside, especially in the summer. So yeah, that is something that I'll have to get uh, sorted. But yeah, she's, she's going fine. Up to now, temperature's good, the uh, low speed fans are working perfectly. This is the first time she's been driving properly, as I say, in two and a half years. So just want to take the time, just soak it in, make sure everything's operating fine. Obviously, the steering wheel is a little bit off center. That's because the uh, the align the alignment wants doing it wants four wheel alignment. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, she feels good. She feels good and she looks good. 
now I'm coming off this uh, fast moving road I'm going to put the window down a little bit I'm sorry guys I know it would be better for filming to have the windows up but it's just too hot in here my god does it feel good <laughs> can't believe it Responsive, uh, nice and torquey, low end. Clutch is fine, obviously. You know, I've had the gearbox off, done the rear main seal, done the clutch. Clutch bite is perfectly fine, uh, very nice and soft bite, it's not aggressive, very smooth, very happy. Very pleased I chose to stick with the uh, dual mass flywheel now. I've noticed now the uh, the exhaust is getting warm, the tone is changing a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more popping and farting on the over rev or changing down. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, can't believe it. I'm sorry guys, I'm just a bit... Uh, the emotion coming through. One thing I will say... You know, if you own uh, a weekend car or a toy car or a project... If it doesn't make you feel like this then... You've got the wrong car. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. This has got the Coney Sport adjustable shocks. Rolling normal driving feels fine, not overly firm. But yeah, I'm not going to be testing those today. I'm not going to be doing anything untoward today. Just taking my time. As I say, sorry if I'm repeating myself, guys. This is a completely unscripted video. But <laughs> So yeah, what I'm doing is, uh, as I say, I'm taking it to the garage. I was going to just book it into, in for an MOT. But what I decided to do is get it completely professionally checked over, top to bottom, uh, before the MOT goes ahead. I just thought that was a good thing to do. Best for the car, best for, you know, the safety of me and the family that I'm going to be carrying in it. So yeah, I just wanted it checked over properly. Not that I'm, uh, you know, I'm very confident in myself, my own ability, my own work. You know, I just wanted it checked over. So it's going to be in the garage for the next few days, actually. Um, I'm going to go through it top to bottom, make sure that everything is tip top. Uh, on the way, I am going to pick up a bulb. I've checked all the lights. Obviously, nobody wants to fail an MOT on something silly like a bulb. Um, but I have got a, a main beam bull bolt, so I'm going to pick one of those up on the way. But yeah, absolutely chuffed. Before I did the, uh, the coolant system overhaul with the new radiator and the new fans and the resistors, um, the temperature gauge used to go over the centre, just over 90, which I didn't like, and the big fans would kick in very loud, it would come back down to temperature and then it would click off again, and the process would just keep repeating every minute or so, and it was a bit annoying. So yeah, as I say, now those uh, low fan speed resistors are installed, it's it's operating absolutely beautifully. It's not crept over the uh, the centre once, and it's quite a warm day today. Have I, have I mentioned yet how happy I am? <laughs>
people rolling the windows down as they're passing to hear the car. <laughs> Sorry guys if I'm a bit speechless. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not coming out with anything entertaining. Noticed is when I'm on the power intermittently the power cuts instantly cuts and lurches forward so that is an issue I'm gonna to have to look into that but yeah if any uh, anybody's got any ideas hit me up so yeah when I've been on the power um, it just suddenly cuts power and lurches forward almost like it's gonna cut out very very strange it's done it twice I've done what? Three miles? And it's done that twice Just pulling into the local motor factories now to buy a bulb <laughs> Bridge <laughs> uh, And yeah, once we've got this bulb I'm going to drop it off at the MOT place And that'll be that Yeah, she's a head turner. <laughs> okay, so I've got the bulb. I'm just gonna pop it in quickly before I uh, send it off to where she needs to go. So bulb is in, hopefully it isn't an electrical issue and it is just a bulb but we shall see. Let's have a look. No, she's not working. Okay, so we've got one more problem there for the garage to sort. Bugger. Come on guys, she's an alpha. It's allowed. <laughs> oh. I've replaced the bulb. The bulb still isn't working on the driver's side for the main beam um, So that's something else for the garage to sort for me um, But yeah, it's allowed Electrical issues on an Alpha <laughs> But yeah, that is bothering me the, um, when, when I'm putting the power on uh, It's not a hesitation um, It's just a quick cut power Lurches forward, it's almost like it's just cut out dead But it's not, it suddenly kicks back in again But yeah, please guys, hit me up in the comments Let me know so now um, is the last leg of the very short journey to the garage. So that the Alpha has been dropped off. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I really, really struggled handing over the keys then. I was handing them over very gingerly. Oh, it's horrible. You know, obviously I've done everything on that car myself. Absolutely everything. Oh, you know, I, I struggled leaving that with them then, but they kept saying to me, you know, don't worry, stop panicking, stop panicking. But I just can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, the MOT needs to be done. I've given them a list of jobs uh, to do and check over. Um, obviously now on that list is that uh, main beam issue I'm sure they'll look into that and also that uh, sudden cut of power drive um, with those lights coming on not worried about it I'm sure they'll get to the bottom of it 
but yeah electricals are not my strong points they never have been um, obviously the MOT I can't do that myself oh, but yeah <laughs> but yeah I've got some uh, some time off work now today is what Wednesday it's my birthday on Friday I've told him it's my birthday on Friday <laughs> And if I can get the car back, if I get a call to say, yeah, Rick, your car's done, um, everything's sorted, MOT sorted, if I get that call, I'll be absolutely chuffed a bit. Chuffed a bit. But for now, I'm going to try not to think about it, at least not too much. I've got some time off work, I've got the next five days off work, so I'm just going to kick back, relax, enjoy spending some time with my family. And that's... Uh, that's pretty much it so yeah i know this has been a bit of an awkward maybe even a boring video for you guys to watch i do appreciate that i know you guys probably just want me to put my foot down you want to hear it i do i do get that guys and a video will follow i promise um but yeah this was just the very very first drive taking the time the car isn't mot'd yet i need to take that into account um obviously i put a lot of work into it as well and i don't want to bend it on the first uh, outing so yeah a good video will follow in the future but for now that's all from me i shall see you next time thank you very very much for watching bye bye